I was part of the class of 1998. I am class of 2001. Class of 2010. 2000. 2001. I played volleyball, tennis, track and field. I played basketball. I was a rower. I am proud to be a Duke Blue Devil. I am proud to be a Duke Blue Devil. I am proud to be a Duke Blue Devil. I am proud to be a Blue Devil. The beginning was forged in opportunity. 40 years ago, on June 23, 1972, it was more than just a past amendment. Title IX was an opportunity for women everywhere to participate in federally funded education programs and activities, including varsity level collegiate athletics. Prior to 1972 at Duke, opportunities for women to participate in sports existed through intramurals and club sports. With the passing of Title IX, the university took a national leadership role by funding the school's first seven women's varsity athletic teams. Basketball, fencing, field hockey, golf, swimming and diving, tennis, and volleyball. This was the beginning of what has become a shining success story in women's collegiate athletics. The 1970s were a time of many firsts for Duke women's athletics. In 1977, Ellison Goodall did more than just earn All-America status in track and cross country. She accomplished the feat twice before there was even a women's track and cross country team. Since then, 172 women have earned the prestigious honor in all of Duke's 13 women's sports. Also in 1977, women's tennis player Kathy Stearns became the first female student athlete to win an individual ACC title. Over the years, 26 other women from Duke have captured individual ACC titles in various sports. A year later, in 1978, women's basketball standout Tara McCarthy received the first athletic scholarship ever granted by the university to a female. To date, over 2,000 women have been given the opportunity to be educated and compete at the highest academic and athletic levels through full athletic scholarships to Duke. The 80s brought more change, growth, and success to women's athletics. At the beginning of the decade, gymnastics made a brief four-year appearance as a varsity sport. Then in 1984, Duke added cross-country, indoor and outdoor track and field to bring the total number of varsity teams to 10. Soccer became our 11th varsity sport when it began play in the fall of 1988. The women's golf team earned the first of Duke's 54 ACC team titles in the spring of 1984. That fall, volleyball won their first ACC title. Since then, women's basketball, cross country, lacrosse, soccer, and tennis have taken to the podium as ACC champions. Swimmer Nancy Hogshead took us to the highest of heights in 1984 by becoming the first female student athlete from Duke to compete in the Olympic Games. Nancy won three gold medals and one silver and set the tone for seven other Blue Devils who went on to compete in the Olympic Games. Duke's other Olympians include fencers Leslie Marks and Rebecca Ward, tennis player Vanessa Webb, soccer defender Rebecca Smith, and track and field standouts Jillian Schwartz and Shannon Robery. The end of the decade saw the beginning of one of the most historic accomplishments in women's athletics at Duke. On March 31, 1989, the women's tennis team beat the University of North Carolina 5-1. That victory started a conference winning streak that lasted over a decade and included 108 straight ACC victories. The 90s and 2000s have seen growth, opportunity, and success continued for female student athletes. Two more women's varsity sports were added, lacrosse in 1996 and rowing in 98. These two additions provided women at Duke a greater number of opportunities to participate in varsity athletics. Today, over 250 women compete annually in our 13 varsity programs. NCAA success was now part of the yearly goals for women's teams and individuals. In 1991, Duke women's soccer became the first team to play for an NCAA championship, and in 1999, the women's basketball team played in its first championship game. But the crowning team achievement of the decade came in June of 99, when the women's golf team captured Duke's first NCAA women's title in the sport. Sweet 16s, grade eights, and final fours became commonplace for Duke's women's teams in the new millennium. 
Women's golf dominated the decade, winning four more NCAA team titles. And in 2009, the women's tennis team won its first title. Over the past 20 years, individual success mirrored that of our teams as well. Tennis's Vanessa Webb became the first of nine Duke women to win an NCAA individual title when she won the 1998 singles title. That was followed by a string of women golfers who won individual NCAA titles in the 2000s. Just last year, three current student athletes won NCAA individual championships while representing Duke. Fencing's Rebecca Ward, diver Abby Johnston, and Juliette Bodorf from track and field. Academic excellence and off the field achievement are the standard for women's athletics at Duke. Thousands of female student athletes have earned all ACC academic honors and hundreds have earned academic All-America honors. Two of our own, field hockey's Virginia Seitz and tennis's Parker Goyer have been honored at the highest level by being named Rhodes Scholars for their academic achievements at Duke. And during the past decade, rower Joanne Hingle and golfer Amanda Blumenhurst have been named finalists for NCAA Woman of the Year honors. It was, and still is, about more than opportunity we seized with vigor and unbridled enthusiasm. It's the bond of shared experience we have through the countless hours of practice, the joys of victory, the tears in defeat, the stress of academics, the commitment we made and still have to each other. For 40 years, we gladly accepted and embraced the dedication required to succeed both on and off of the fields of play at Duke. It has helped guide us and mold us into the women we are today. We were there for each other then, and we'll be there for the generations to follow. It was and always will be an honor to say, I was a women's varsity athlete at Duke.